Shout out to DVD Era TV. Salute. DVD Era Sub Zero was a monster in the DVD Era, son. DVD Era TV back at y'all with another one. Y'all know the slogan. Let's get straight into this one. Now, Petey Crack is a rapper from North Philadelphia who began to rap at a young age. Crack was also childhood friends with Freeway and says he knew Freeway since he was about 10 years old. Petey and Freeway was also in a group together called Ice City before signing to Rockefeller. But Crack could get his big break after recording a record with Oskino and Sparks that caught the air Dame Dash. Petey Crack would fly out to Miami to meet Dame Dash and ended up joining Rockefeller that day while being on the run for prison. Petey would then become I'm an official member of state property and link back up with his childhood friend Freeway. Now Crack will record his song for One for Petey along with Juel Santana and Cameron. Now before this record could be released, Jay-Z ordered that Juel's and Cam be taken off of the track. Now this One for Petey record will be the single for the paid and full soundtrack and Petey will also be featured on singles like Freeway Flipside and Neo Stay With Me record. Now Petey Crack will also appear on Jay-Z's Blueprint 2 album, Giffin' a Curse on a record called As One alongside other Rockefeller members. Now he will also drop mixtapes for Crack Files 1 through 3, Prince of the Rock, and Welcome to the Crack House, just to name a few. Now Petey was an artist in the DVD era who got a taste of the music industry with a little mainstream success. Now he assigned a Rockefeller in the early 2000s and we all know Rockefeller and Terror Squad didn't see eye to eye. Now throughout the years there will be a few back and forth between Terror Squad members and Rockefeller members. Now, according to Cuban Links, Jay-Z was booked by a Terror Squad affiliate to perform at a club for 15 k Jay-Z decided not to perform at this show, which sparked an argument between that Terror Squad affiliate and Memphis Bleak, which led to Bleak or someone in his crew busting that Terror Squad affiliate in the head with a bottle. It was Bleak. Okay, Bleak got rocked with the bottle. No, 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 Bleak rocked with the bottle. Oh, somebody from Terror Squad. Yeah. Now, supposedly, this TS affiliate tell Big Punny was hitting the head with a bottle, and Big Punny to jump up and pull out his Rambo knife and started chasing Rockefeller members which started an all out brawl between the two crews. Once that happened it was a wrap. A pun put, he pulled out a Rambo knife. Some of us were still chasing now, also, there was a record by Source Money called Middle Finger You, Dissing Fat Joe and Big Pun, which led to DJ Who Kid being kidnapped by Big Pun for playing a record on his mixtape. Now, it was also said while Jay-Z and Fat Joe were on tour, it would be a meeting set up for Jay to speak to Joe and Pun, and supposedly Jay ended up being chased by Big Pun and Joe around the room. So it's always been tension between Fat Joe, Terror Squad, Jay-Z, and Rockefeller, and this is why I feel like Fat Joe had a problem with P.D. Crack. Now, Petey will do an interview with Mikey T, the movie star on Report Card Radio, and state that Fat Joe feels like he stole his name. Now, Crack says he didn't steal his name. He actually got his name from Carlito's Way to Movie. He went from Fat Joe to Joey Crack, and he not feeling me uh, running with the name. Now, in all honesty, I could see what Joe can feel away about Petey Crack and his name because, you know, at the time he was beefing with Rockefeller. They got this new Puerto Rican rapper just like him signed to The Rock, and they got similar names. Now, even though Joey Crack is Fat Joe Elliott's name, a.k.a. name, it was a part of Joey Crack career where he was putting out projects and singles where he was pushing himself as Joey Crack. Now, Petey will also say in this interview that he never met Fat Joe, but if he ever met Fat Joe, he feel like Fat Joe would rock with him. And also, growing up, Fat Joe was an inspiration to him as well. I would love to meet him. I think he'll fool me once he meets me. But anyway, hop in my comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Do y'all feel like Fat Joe never liked Petey Crack because of his affiliation with Rockefeller? Or he just ain't like them because they had similar names. Now also let me know who y'all like better. Do you like Petey Crack better? Or do you like Fat Joe better? Now Petey Crack never really got the big push he needed to become a big superstar in the rap business. But you know he definitely was talented. But anyway, if you're a fan of these old hip-hop stories, tell a friend to tell a friend about my page. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. More content coming, and I'm out. One.